Happy Thursday to everyone. 514 Thursday core workout. We got two rounds of our warm up. Dean is ready. John's ready at home. If you are good at home, we're watching this on YouTube. On your marks, get set. We got cross jacks. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Happy Thursday. Beautiful day out. Sun is shining. Get your vitamin D today for sure. All right. Love it, love it. So we do. 20 cross jacks, thereabouts. Uh, push ups, couple of those. Six basic push ups. All right, how many push ups have we done in quarantine? Too many to count. All right, sumos. After your push ups, we've got sumo squat, right? Just nice, wide squat, head up, chest up. Get that little high knee pull. All right, as you stretch it all out, warm it up. First workout, first uh, round of the warm up, I should say. Just Slowly getting that body moving, open things up a little bit, All right? Get that blood flowing. Good, good, good. Sumo, six of those, march twists, right? That's all, bring the knee up, we twist, we march. We get that different planes of motion going. Yeah. All right, skaters will be next, right? Your little side to side motion. It uh, doesn't have to be too big of a gap be going over. You're just trying to get a little lateral movement. All right. Warming up all different parts of the body. 20 skaters. All right. And then you get your inchworm. Just kind of slowly walking the hands out. Don't do a push-up. We already got push-ups in earlier. So just slowly walk those hands out. Feel that nice stretch. Push those hands all the way back. Ooh. There you go, there you go. Get that good old reach. I like to sit down there and do a little dead hang for a little bit, that works too, so. This is a good one, open things up. All right, ooh, there you go. Ooh, yeah, yeah. A couple of these. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And one more of these. Getting down nice and low, get that good stretch. All right, when you finish your inchworms, you get your side lunge to instep stretch, right? Little side. How many of these babies? These will be two on each side. Four total. Yes, I, I do as well. Good, good. So I don't know if uh, my man Rick Sticker is on our uh, core workouts, but I know he does a lot of the regular workouts. Happened to see him yesterday. I was in West Greenwich on a little bike ride. I finished up. He just pulled in. It was cool to see. All right. Cross jacks, right? We went around two. That's it. Two rounds. So repeating this up. But found out he mountain bikes. So I try to throw as many words out there as I can. Anyone who likes the mountain bike, hit me up. Let me know. Seth and I are going today. And always looking for more riders. It's fantastic out there. Push ups after your cross jacks. Six push ups. Looks like rain, possibly tomorrow afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. In the 70s is one rumor. I don't know if that's still going to happen, but. Yeah. Sumo, after your push up, sumo. Yeah, well, the lawn a little bit today, though. It's going to rain. Yeah, yeah, well. We're watering the grass because we're still trying to grow some grass seeds, so it'll uh, definitely need cutting over the weekend. Mm -hmm. But could use the rain. We've got the pool all set up, ready to go. So all the pieces that I needed to fix it are back, are in and put it all together. <laughs> Fingers crossed that nothing leaks. <laughs> After sumo, you get your march twist. Ooh, nice. Fantastic. In ground? In ground? All right. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Just saw the ordinances for the South Kingstown beaches where they're limiting to 1,200 people, so I don't know how the hell that's going to work. But anyways... Right, March twist to get skaters after your March twist. Did I say that on camera? Yeah, you did. You did. But you're in Narragansett, so you're safe. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what their story is. Yeah, I'm waiting to see. That's the beach. That's the beach everyone wants, Narragansett. So. Far from my house. Yeah. Well, it's just a matter of letting people on. You know, they're gonna they're gonna limit how many people can actually walk out on the beach. I'm gonna slither under the fence. <laughs> over this, over that. Get I'll there before they start. You can see me going on there. After skaters, get your inchworm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I get it. Who's got their own take on it, so I'm 
Yeah. Well, I get it. So, I mean, I've seen the beach where you're, you, no one had six feet between them, you know? So it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. But it's one of the big money makers, so they need people in the beach. Yeah, nobody does. Nobody yeah, does. Started, they want to make a uh, more hunting area. They like in that country trail that. In so Narragansett? Yeah. Really? Wherever there is some. There's room in, there's there's room in Narragansett to hunt? Stuff. Yeah. No, it's not. Anyway. Yeah, all right. Last thing a side lunge to instep. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the problem. It's, it's smoke and mirrors. You get all focused on this, and then we can do something else. <laughs> but no reason to get too <sighs> controversial on our core workout. Let's yeah, sorry. Let's yeah. be sunshines and rays and hopes and. Just all right, that's it. One, two. That's it. We got two rounds, right? So it should be warm. It should be ready. We got some cardio built into today's. Workout anyway, so just a recap, All right? We're doing three rounds. We start with the high numbers 40 except for where indicated where in one four and eight You got your jumper jacks squat jumps and burpees. Those are the same each round, right? Everything else we do 40 reps then 30 and then 20, All right? Pretty standard. We need a weight for what a standing twist and for our kneeling slashers Motion twist you can certainly use that other than that. It's pretty much Straightforward. All right. Are we good to go? Yeah. Good there. John's good. Let's start with our jumping jacks. We got 30 of them. Here we go, guys. All right. Again, we're just trying to get that heart rate up. We got a couple of cardio exercises with our workout today. Three of them. Uh, the other nine are going to be all nice core based. Get the abs working. Get the glutes fired up. Get the shoulders Taxed a little bit. All right. After your jumping jacks, get your Russian twist. All right. So again, our first round, we got 40 Russian twists. So with the weight, without the weight, our goal is to, if you can, tap it on that ground, get that big range of motion. I know it's 40, it's only 20 aside, right? So then you can decide if you can lift the feet up off the ground. That makes it oh, a lot harder. All right. But if you need the feet to be on the ground, that is totally acceptable as well. All right, so 40 is a lot, so get your rhythm, get your pace. Again, the weight can be dropped if it's too much. If you're dropping the weight, you want your hands eye level as you go back and forth. 40 of those, finish those up. Then we go to our alternating Superman, right? One arm opposite leg, right? Just a little squeeze up on top. That's it, so 20 per side on these, right? Get that lift, squeeze. Good time to get that breath in line. It's kind of tough. Your chest is a little compressed against the ground, so it feels like it's a little tougher maybe to breathe because it's, it's, it's constricted, but work on that in-breath. On the way up, out-breath, on the way down. Nice job. All right. Get that groove on. Doesn't feel like much, but very important to work on those glutes. Tough spot to hit sometimes together with the lower back. So these supermans do a good job of practicing, squeezing those glutes. All right, not a whole lot of bend in the leg or the arm. It's really the lower back that does most of the work. Fantastic. All right, next cardio, squat jumps. We've got 20 of these. Regular squats are acceptable if you're just not feeling that jump. But if you're able to, just get that little pop. I like to push off the heels so my whole body gets nice and straight. Shoulders up nice and tall, and then lots of bend in the ankles and the knees and the hips. Your natural shock absorbers, right? So you get very soft, supple landing. Soft and supple. Fantastic. So you just finish your squat jumps, grab that weight. We're doing a standing twist, right? Hold on to that weight. Woof, back and forth. Big old twist. So 40 of these, we'll go 20 on each side. All right, using your brakes, using your obliques like a brake. So you twist, brake, bring it back, bring it back. Awesome. I like the sound effect. Yeah, your brake sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta add that in there, right? So you know it's going fast, but then it's not just stopping. You're actually stopping yourself. 
So it's like you're fighting yourself. You go wicked fast on one side and you use your own braking power to stop, turn, twist. You gotta make adventurous out of these things, right? All right, after your standing twist, we're doing actual plank, not a side plank. Regular plank, forearm plank, and just nice control, just drop in those hips. Side, tap, side, tap. Little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap. I realize I've seen so many people do these that I have a much more flexible shoulder system than most because I bring my left hip under my right hip when I go. So I bring my hip so far over that it is... I can, I can actually bring my right hip almost over to the other side of the mat. <laughs> Yeah, I realize that now that I have different flexibility than a lot of people that I train, yeah. and that's okay. Well, I'm going to just say I'm still young. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> 48, 47, still young. Yeah. All right, good to know. All right, so all right. 40-year plank, hip drops, 20 a side, all right? Then we grab our weight, one foot up, kneeling, slasher, all right? Get those hands out in front of you, especially if it's a light weight. Keep a little bend in the elbow. Then get a little dip in the shoulder. Get that little extra oblique twist. All right, it's also known as like a chop because it's like you're chopping down that tree. Chop, chop, chop. I have that happening at my house today. Woohoo! Yeah. You need a chainsaw? I got a chainsaw, it works. Oh, no. <laughs> I got boys over there. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. All right, so again, kneeling slasher, 20 of these on each side, all right? It's about getting that rhythm. That's got a big tree to chop 20 on each side, so. Big range of motion. Whew. Make sure we're breathing, right? As we swing that weight down, like letting that air out, Whew. and back up. Squeeze as we go down and up. Nice job. Whew. All right, those add up, those add up. All right, one more cardio for the round. And your burpees, just 10 burpees, right? A little down and up. Pop. Well, right, 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 and then I was thinking about bunnies, but I was like, ah, this is the off day. We don't need to do the bunnies on the off days, right? Whew. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Again, depending on where you're at, push up, no push up, all the way to the ground. Do that peel up is the one in between. All right, that's the, uh, the standard burpee that everyone does worldwide, I believe. Whew. All right, ten of those. Nine toe touch is next. Line on our back, right? Both legs straight out, shoulders on the ground, and we come up, touch that toe. One hand or both hands, but one toe at a time. Woof, this will add up. We've got 20 of these per side, so 40 total. Yep, that's definitely a modification. One foot on the ground, keeping both feet off the ground that whole time will definitely be a burner. So if you feel you can do that, challenge yourself. See how long you can keep that heel off the ground. And as we reach and touch, trying to get that leg up nice and high. Oh, how high up can you get that leg? Come on, get it up, get it up. Again, hamstring flexibility, another issue with this one. So I realized I can bring that toe up a lot higher with a lot less discomfort than most. Woo! Well, you guys got it. You guys got it. Yeah, you can even keeping the shoulders on the ground, lifting that leg is good work. It all gets the core. It all gets the core going. Nice job. Nice job. Looking good, John. Looking good. Looking good. Woo! Finish those lying toe touches. Then we keep the shoulders on the ground and bend those knees at a 90. Reverse crunch. All right. Not a whole lot of motion going on on that one. All right. You can tap the heels. Then bring the knees. You can certainly do that. It's 40 of them. It's a lot. I know, but I think you got it. I think you got it. Bring those knees up and over. Use those hands as little leverage as you need to. You can put them real close to the hips. It makes it easier. Flat out. I think so. Put them way out to the side. And then you have no, you don't have nearly as much leverage, especially if you're going way up and over your forehead. Okay. Okay. All right. You heard her. She's going to do it later. Right now, though, we've got 40 of these things, so that's definitely a lot burning up those lower abs. Whew. Make sure we keep breathing. Good work, good work, good work. Nice. 
Nicely done, nicely done. Next up is gonna be your side plank toe touches, right? We're doing half on each side for those. Whew, get through them, get through them. Nice job, Wig. All right. All right, good, that was a challenge. All right, we like it when we're challenged, right? Yep, so next up, side plank. Again, modify if you need to, to drop to the knee if you're not feeling it so much, but if you can, keep on that uh, heel and ankle. And we reach out, way out in front, touch that toe, and then straighten it out. Again, we got 20 per side with this one. Good work, good work, good work. Whew. Shake it out, shake it out, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> That's why people like the timed workouts. All right, side plank on that other side. Good job, good job. Remember, we're starting with the higher number, so when we finish this round, woof, we go down, we go down. Ha <laughs> oh, it's different, you know, why not do something different? Try it out, see how it works. Yeah, there we go. All right, our ankle taps, right? So here we put the feet on the ground, knees are up in the air, and our shoulders are on the ground. We can lift the shoulders maybe just a little bit as you reach. How far down can you reach? Touch your ankle, all right, touch your toe. That's really hard if you did that. Touch your midfoot somewhere, all right. But our goal is to actually crunch just a little side crunch, right? Just a little. All right, 40 of these will certainly add up. Should start to feel it. That was 40? That was fast. They go fast. Okay. Do you count back and forth as one, or each time as one? Each time as one. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have been twice as fast. Okay. No, would have been? No. Oh. Each time as one. You're right. Exactly. Okay. All right. So Woo! Yeah. Good time to take a drink. All right, a little water break. This one's cruising. We're moving through this one pretty good. This will be a fast hitter, I believe, because the big round is already done. We are ready to start round two. 30 jumping jacks, and then we go into our 30 reps of everything. All right. Nice job, John. Good work, good work. Whew. So remember, jumping jacks are always going to be 30. So we're staying with that. <clears throat> Good breathing, right, good breathing. Heart rate gets up there. And then we go to our Russian twists. Okay, we got 30 of these, so 15 per side. Again, if you're doing that weight, we're trying to tap that weight to the ground. If you're feeling for that extra challenge, you know, you pick those feet up off the ground. Keep that chest forward though. We don't want to roll that back, right? We still have an arch in that lower back as we stick our chest forward. Ooh, lots of core engagement, doing it that way. If you're just using your hands, your hands should get eye level, hit the ground. Eight. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Alternating Supermans will be next. Long arms, long legs, one at a time. Reach, little, little squeeze up on top. Imagine you're flying over the world. Yes, they're definitely active. They're definitely out and about. Seen a lot of great blue herons around here lately. Beautiful birds. Although they, they leave a big mess when they fly away. <laughs> Ospreys are ab abundant here as well. Got a big old hawk in our yard. Good thing I got the chickens all wrapped up in bird netting now so they're safe. Had the ultimate word. <laughs> we got Russian twists. We got squat jumps next. All right. <clears throat> All right. Whoop. There we go. 20. Again, these are always going to be 20. So, again, a good amount to give you a blast through all of them without stopping, right? A little pop, right? Straighten it all out and then get ready to adjust. Bend it all as you land. Nice, soft landings. Woo. 20 of those. Then we go to our plank hip drop, right? So your forearm plank, hands and 
Uh, elbows and toes. Oh, no, weighted stand and twist. You're right, John. We missed that. Sorry. Good thing, I'm, good thing someone in here is paying attention. <laughs> All right. Hey, that happens, right? No big deal, right? We just go with the flow. All right. Bank those up for later. Our standing twist. Get the shoulders moving back and forth, right? Big old twist, trying to keep the ankles, knees kind of in place. A little soft because they're going to move just a little bit, right? The hips move just a little bit, but it's mostly about those obliques. Big twist, turn, stop, break, bring it back. And nice job. All right, now we go to our plank hip drop. All right, all right. Now we're on our forearms and toes, right? So tendency is good. Kind of go fast in this one, trying to keep that pace, right? Be gentle, right? Not dropping the hips so you're breaking a walnut on the ground. It's just a little tap, a little tap, a little tap, all right? Shoulders definitely get stretched out on this one. <clears throat> definitely working the upper body on that. Core staying nice and tight, though. Very good little stretch for the obliques as well. Back and forth. 15 on each side of those. And we go to our kneeling slasher. All right, one foot up. Again, control that weight, All right? Keep the weight out as far away as you feel you can while still controlling it. Get a little shoulder dip as we go down. And then I like to flip, almost like I'm flipping the back of the end of the kettlebell, or the end of the dumbbell up. Get a little extra oof on it. Good work, good work. Try to control it, right? We're trying to throw our balance off, so the whole time you're really working on keeping your balance. I know it's counterintuitive. We're throwing our balance off while we're trying to keep our balance, but that's the challenge, right? We're working on our stabilizer muscles, working on keeping our balance, and working on our oblique muscles as well. But I find this one's all about those stabilizer muscles, keeping your center of gravity, keeping your balance as your center of gravity constantly moves, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Back to some bur 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 Woo! Good work, good work, good work. Love it, love it, love it. Nice job, nice job. Ten of them, right? You should be able to bang these out without stopping. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well done, guys. Well done, well done, well done. Great, 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 great. Ten burpees, and we go to our lying toe touch is next. Remember, the burpees are only ten. So now we're on our lying toe touch. Not 40, not 30, not 20, just 10. Woo! All right. Nice job, John. Nice job. All right. Nice deep breath as we get into our toe touches. All right. Again, feet off the ground makes the exercise a little more challenging, so find what works for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep, 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 yep. All right, nice job, nice job, nice job. Yeah, I do think getting the shoulders up off definitely makes that a lot trickier than just bringing the leg up off the ground. But shoulders up and both feet up the ground the whole time is the ultimate challenge. Who can do that? Who can do that? All right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe, she says, maybe, maybe now. Birthdays, woohoo! All right, get your burpees out now. Then we got next is our reverse crunch. Right, shoulders on the ground, knees at that ninety. Lift those hips up, trying to get those knees up above the forehead if you can. Woo. There we go. Oh yeah, gotta be gotta stretch out that lower back. Digging, been doing a lot of the gardening myself. You gotta make sure you're keeping that back. Safe, stretch it out. Lift with the legs, right? Lift with the legs, they say. But this one, we're lifting with the hips. Lift the legs with the hips. Oof, so, all right. Not done. Not done yet, almost there, almost there. Finishing up our 30 rep round. 
Next exercise is your side plank, toe touch. All right, but finish up these reverse crunches. Nice and strong. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, the side plank and the toe touch is next. Nice job, nice job. So we got 30 of these, so 15 and 15. All right. Good work, good work, good work. All right, and we finish the round with our little ankle taps. Ankle taps, right? Just a little picking above the shoulders, reach. Obviously, the further away you keep your feet, the harder it is to get to your ankle, so. All right, shoulders off the ground, right? Just a, like a little oblique side crunch. Doot, doot, doot. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good way to finish the round. All right, good time to take that water break. Two rounds down, easiest round left. Isn't that nice to finish on the easiest round? Yes, it is on some level the easiest round, right? Okay. All righty. Whew. 30 jumping jacks again to start our last round. All right, on your marks, get it. Here we go. Nice job. Way to get at it. Way to get at it. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Get that rhythm. Get that pace. Getting that heart rate up. Set you up for the good round. All right. Get that blood flowing. Get that heart rate up. Oof. 30 of those. All right, now our Russian twist. Even though the lumbers are less, doesn't mean we want to fly through it, right? You do these slow and controlled. Tap that weight. Don't just drop it, right? Feet up off the ground. Oh, yes. You can certainly make less reps even more difficult, right? More time under load. Woo! 20 of those. Then we turn over to our Superman's alternating one arm, opposite leg. Big old reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze. All right. Again, you want to take your time on these. You can go really slow, really work the glutes and lower back. It's all about finding that right pace, that right rhythm. Nice job, nice job. Twenty of your Supermans. Then we go into our squat jumps. You got it. These are twenty as well. All right. Deep breath. Get ready. Pop them out. Pop them out. Again, you're looking for more of a challenge. Really get that height. You can do the knee tuck squat jump like a frog squat jump. That makes it a lot more difficult. So pick your difficulty category and make it happen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. After the squat jumps, we got a standing twist. Yep, 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 not this time. We're catching you, we're catching you this time. We got the standing twist. All right, get that weight, get those feet close together. Big twist, big twist. The further the weight is out in front of you, the more core has to work to kind of hold on. Good job, guys, good job, good job. Big old standing twist. We'll then move into your plank hip drop. And I'm so eager to get yes, 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 yes. You like working those shoulders, right? Again, just a gentle little tap. Gentle little tap, little twist, little spinal twist, little dipping into the shoulders. All right. Nice and easy, nice and easy. All right, yeah, next up is kneeling slasher. All right, so after that, we got kneeling slashers, 20 reps is 10 on each side. Ooh. 
Lots of transport ships are flying again. Haven't seen those guys in a while. All right, kneeling slashers, 10 aside. Big old range of motion. Get that weight out in front, keeping your balance as you move your center of gravity back and forth. Oof, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Kneeling slashers are done. Next up is going to be your burpees. All right, just like before, only 10. Only 10. Make them count, make them count. All right, full push-ups, no push-ups, peeling, whatever works for you. Oof. Nice job, guys, nice job, nice job, nice job. Try to get through all 10 without stopping now, all right? Well done, well done, well done. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. After you finish your burpees, we're going to get down on the ground. Lying toe touch <clears throat> is next. Oof. Nice work, John. Nice work, John. We're almost there. We're almost there. Lying toe touches. Try to get that nice long leg, lift the shoulders a little bit, yeah. touch that toe. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You know. Oh, you know. Ha <laughs> Good reverse job, good job, good job. Yep, after our lying toe touches, reverse crunches. Yeah. This is it, the last three exercises. Let's make them count, All right? Let's make them count. All right, take your time, get that good knee, drive up and over the forehead, all the way down, tap the ankles, Woo. tap the heels. You know what you could do? You're bored. I'm not bored. If you do another round of 10. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys heard that at home, but we're going to be done after our 20 rep round. But if you want the extra credit of doing... Ten. I would even take out the cardio and just blast through ten of everything, right? But that's on your own time, if you so choose. Just in case someone's looking for that extra core work. Side plank, toe touch is next, yep. But sometimes people like these quick little hitters, right? They did the big workout yesterday, so this is just a little cardio blast, little core blast, just the right amount. Yeah, so these... Yeah, yeah. The heart rate gets up there a little bit, right? Yep. Definitely some work. It's not uh, a heavy Wednesday workout by any means or a fast Friday. It's a nice core Thursday. Last is the ankle taps. Yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. Again, pick the shoulders up a little bit. A little squeeze. How far can you reach down? How far can you reach down? Good work, guys. Good work. Finish it up strong. Again, nice quick little hitter for your Thursday core workout. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, you can do it in a round of 10 if you so choose. If you're really working hard, do another couple rounds if you want. But that is it for us today. So as always, I ask you for a big old thumbs up, like button on that. Share with your friends, comment, let us know how we're doing. Have yourself a great Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow for Fast Friday.